Hey, it's David. Welcome back to Orangeville Daily Homes. 27 properties that we're going to take a look at today. And um, wow, yeah, there's quite a few all over the place. So uh, if you look at the map here, you can zoom in. You've got some controls here. It's zoom in, zoom out. And uh, if you click on any of the columns here, they will be sorted based on that. So we'll start off with our first one here, 309. I'm, I'm going to try to be quick because I don't want this to be long for everybody, but I want to make sure I get all the details in for everybody as well. So 309 Main Street East, it's in Shelburne, and it's 179. Now it's on the Main Street, so it's a little bit of a harder sell. Taxes are only uh, 2200 basically. No other pictures other than that. There is some laminate flooring uh, on the main floor. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a small place. The one thing that's nice is it does have a, uh, have a garage. So uh, keep that in mind. 85 Town Line, it's in Orangeville, 209. And this was built in the 18, late 1800s. Uh, it's 60 feet wide, 140 feet deep. Probably needs uh, a little bit of work, uh, let's just say, uh, just from what I'm looking at here. But uh, I'm starting to wonder if this may be more of a flip or whether it's more of an investment property. You can take uh, advantage on both both of those, even with that other one. Uh, 221 Maryland, and it's uh, 274. A lot of these ones have uh, have certainly gone up in price over the last uh, two years. Um, I remember they were selling for around, you know, 250 at one time, but they've certainly uh, pushed their way up along with all the other properties in uh, in town. So, I think uh, you know they're for nowadays. I mean they're 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 probably in line, but uh, you know as we go into the summer months, there's um, you know more and more properties that uh, that tend to get listed because people like to list it when uh, the weather's nice. Uh, the next one, I'd be careful with um, the area with this one is, just with all the wind turbines that are going in, just do your due diligence, uh, detached garage. Um, and this one, I don't know if it was listed once before, has a feeling that it did. And But overall, I mean, it, you know, the price, it's $299. You know, it seems to be, it seems to be good, but, uh, but certainly you want to check those maps to make sure. Uh, 127 Diane. I like this one. Uh, it's 328, and it does have a separate entrance. Uh, it, there's a big, huge lot. I mean, 47 feet wide, 150 feet deep, and um, it probably does need a little bit of a facelift on the inside. Looks like they've done some nice work on the outside, but uh, the cabinets are older, uh, things of that, like that. So, small cost for those things, but this one also has a separate entrance. I think this may be it to the basement. So that um, that could work for an investor if they're looking to turn a place into a, a duplex. So keep that one. I like this one. Either either a flip or um, a rental would probably work. 19 Arendale, I think I did this the other day. I don't know why it got back in the list, but uh, we'll skip that. Go to the next one, which is 210 Second Avenue. This is in uh, Shelburne, 369. This is an all stone house. I mean, fully stone. Uh, the garage is at the back, so it's kind of an odd kind of layout. So you park here, and then you got to walk through your backyard. Um, and then you got the checkerboard uh, floors. So yeah, I mean, it's a, a little bit different if you're looking for a you know a century home. Uh, there's certainly one here. Uh, hardwood flooring in the back room, and then you've got this little uh, unfinished basement access um, in the floor there. But uh, it's close to the high schools. I don't know how many people are going to like the blue, but uh, maybe they'll look past it. Uh, and there's the uh, another part of the deck in the backyard. So uh, probably a little bit on the uh, on the high end, I would say. Next one is Nine Mill Street. This is an Amaranth, three ninety nine. Um, no pictures to go on, but hundred feet wide, hundred eighty five feet deep, nice and big. It's ten minutes into Orangeville, um, on the edge of. Waldemar, so it's a nice little area that uh, you're in there. Uh, 176 Berry Street to 417. Now, if they get anywhere near this price, this will probably be the highest selling um, home in Shelburne itself in this subdivision. Big backyard, though, right across the street from the school, uh, the elementary school. It is a bundle loft, and uh, they do have hardwood flooring all the way through it. This was the model house when Sun. Um, when Van Dyke was building here. So a lot of upgrades in that one. 87 Colburn, uh, 429. 
Colburn, it's on the west end of uh, Orangeville. Nice backyard. Looks really good. They've got the landscaping at the back there as well. And um, it is a two-car garage. It's a Wellington model, so it's a, it's a, it is a popular model. And at 429, you yeah, pretty much we're you know, in line. Uh, Highway 10, 449. Um, so you've got a little bit of acreage, 43 to be exact. Um, two-car garage in the back of the house there. And then it's a typical country house on the inside. These are things that generally what you're going to see, a little bit of wallpaper here and there. Um, and then the upstairs loft. I mean, this is, you know, an interesting layout. But the thing is with this, it's close to the road. So keep that in mind, right? So you're going to spend 449000 on a house right next to the road. Yeah, you got 43 acres. Right? You just have to ask yourself these questions when you're thinking about that. So there is a garage, um, a separate garage, but it's fairly large as well. 59 Zina, uh, 459, and this is a semi-detached, it's in, like a 100-year-old house, and it has three stories in it. So it's 33 feet wide. No, I think that's the backyard. Okay, so 140 feet deep, and... So you could probably operate, uh, you know, turn this maybe into a duplex, but, you know, at the price itself, it, I don't see it uh, cash flowing. Uh, if you're looking for a, an older semi, uh, there's one here, and then there's this uh, staircase that leads up to the master uh, bedroom, I guess, on the upper floor. So good area, not, I, I'm just not sold on the uh, on the price. It, it's certainly on the, the higher end. Uh, 20 John Street, and it's 489, and uh, it's a bungalow, so that's nice. Um, it is in Waldemar, so it is one of those areas uh, that you're around other homes. You just, you know, in the country, so you get the uh, the added bonus of that. And then inside, it's uh, you know, you got the pendant lights, which is nice, and there's just a lot of stuff on the countertops. So I'd probably recommend you remove a lot of that, get rid of the garbage can. It really just detracts from the room. And um, but overall, I think. Uh, you know, again, they may be on the, the upper price range on this one as well. But uh, they do have a finished walkout basement, which is nice. And uh, they do have a little bit of land, right? So a little bit of uh, acreage there. So very nice. 13 Medill, uh, 519. Um, four bedrooms in this one. Uh, it is an older... Uh, it's not one of the newer ones, I don't believe. Um, carpet on the inside. Hardwood floor. looks really nice. I like that shot. Uh, and, uh, you know, all the... Uh, Appliances, they're all matching, which is nice. And, uh, you know, Medilla, it's it's nice. It's like that middle ground before you get to, to Shelburne. So it's uh, halfway, uh, halfway in between. So very nice. Uh, 27 Amanda Street, 529. This one's an acre in Orangeville that you can get severance. Uh, this is also a, a rental property. So you've got, uh, it's a duplex. So, you know, can you uh, sever off another piece and, you know, build something else over there? So that's probably where the price is uh, at, at, uh, at five twenty nine. I think they're high still with that price. Um, just because the house itself, you're probably going to list it around, you know, two ninety nine. So, and then, you know, the value of that vacant extra piece that you have, if you only can sever it off once, you know, then you're, uh, you know, your value is only another 300000 for a vacant lot. I don't know. Unless you can sever it off a couple of times. So it's something to, to, to look into uh, for sure. Um, up in Mulmer in, uh, in Mansfield, this is an awesome house. I think it's absolutely priced where it needs to be. 534 I mean, the kitchen is unbelievable. Looks awesome. Uh, they're pretty much in line with, uh, with others that have sold in the neighborhood. But uh, I think this is one of the nicer ones. Plus, it has a finished basement, uh, fireplace, pot lights, uh, really, really good piece of uh, property as well. I mean, it's just awesome. So totally, totally a fan of this one. Uh, this one's been sold conditionally, so I'm really not going to take a look at that other than it's a detached bungalow uh, at 7th Line in Mulmer, 549. Um, 520, it's on Broadway uh, in Orangeville. And... Um, you know, it's probably on the, the west end of town. It's 3.39 uh, acres. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly a, a different type of property uh, for being in Orangeville. Um, it'll be interesting to see what you can do on the property 
because certainly the property itself probably isn't worth the 549 but um, maybe there's certainly something that you can do with the property um, itself. Uh, Hockley, Hockley Road, this was for sale I think last year and maybe even the year before, 569 um, they, it was very, very, very odd layout on the inside. It's really like a maze, um, and really there's no other pictures other than that. So it's probably one of those ones where you're going to have to take a look. Uh, second line, Mulmer, 599, and um, I think I was in this one earlier on in the year. Uh, but uh, your front entrance way, a lot of windows in this one. It's, it is a log home. Uh, lots of it's a viceroy home, I believe. Um, fireplace there. Good looking, uh, good looking rooms. You know, get rid of the the frilly things and add some modern things. And you know, the tablecloth. It just kind of makes it look a little bit, excuse me, a little bit dated. Kitchen looks nice though. Overall, I think uh, I think what they have uh, seven acres. Um, you know, five ninety nine. It'll be interesting to see. Now there is a detached uh, garage, and uh, you know, downstairs uh, isn't finished. But um, actually, no, this was a different one. I think that was listed from last, from what I just mentioned. Anyways, looks like it's a newer one. Uh, Seven Campbell Road, uh, six twenty. Uh, it's a detached bungalow, uh, two hundred feet by two hundred and fifty feet. It's an apartment, uh, separate entrance. Uh, hardwood flooring all the way throughout on one acre. It's something that you probably have to see. Uh, there is no uh, pictures for that, but very close to Orangeville. Uh, 67 Hawthorne. This was being listed. They tried um, trying uh, selling it themselves and it didn't work out. Uh, then they listed with an agent uh, and it was still overpriced and um, they're st still on now. I've been in it. Show's okay, um, but uh, not at the price that, uh, that they're asking. Um, I've seen other ones that there that uh, are a little bit better. But uh, it is on four, uh, it is, does have four bedrooms. Uh, it is in a good area, and uh, just the price is just not quite there. Next one's on second line, it's Amaranth, uh, 639. So here's an example. You got a detached bungalow, three bedrooms. There's another bedroom on the basement. There's four bathrooms. It's got a finished walk-up basement. Uh, I mean, this is hitting on, on all, like, I mean, it's a nice looking property and it's on almost four acres. So if you look at this one and then compare it to the other one, yeah, the other one's got an extra garage, but this one's got the acreage and, um, you know, it's close to Orangeville too. Like it's very, very, it's on like a fifth, fifth side road. So I'm a fan. I'd take this one over the, uh, over the previous one for sure. Uh, next one, this was in, in Mansfield uh, and this is a, Commercial units, uh, you could put in a restaurant. Uh, there was a restaurant in here, and unfortunately it closed, and uh, now that people are selling it, they've been trying to sell it for over the last number of years. They won 750000 for it, which I think is probably not going to happen. Um, you can pretty much have whatever it is that you want in this particular place. Uh, and now Mulmer, 789, uh, Fifth Side Road, and... This one here, you don't. It is a detached bungalow. You don't get any. You don't get a lot of pictures on the inside. It's pretty much all on the outside, um, and it's 32 acres on its quiet dead end road in Mulmer, and um, that's pretty much what we have. Uh, next one is over on Eighth Line in Amaranth, 7.99. Uh, it is a farm, 98 uh, acres, one and a half story. Uh, it, you know, you can see it's like a log home on the inside. So, looks like you know they they've done some updates over the years, probably. But uh, 98 acres, and uh, you know, there's the house. So the value in the house, the value in the land, uh, looks like uh, there's. Uh, I don't know if that's a wind turbine off the hiding in the back there or whatever. But um, 85 acres of it is uh, is workable, right? There's the big barn. So. And uh, yeah, there's the wind turbine right there. So it's something that you'd probably want to uh, you want to see. Uh, now, as you look in the details, the turbine is there. It's uh, for added value or revenue, I should say. So it does come with one of those. And depending on what the price of it is, um, you know, every farmer uh, signed a different deal with the Canadian hydro developers when it first started. So something to keep in mind. 
Second line in mono, uh, it's uh, 1,295,000. Um, when you start getting up into these prices, you really kind of need to see the property in person. Uh, there's just a lot to it. And, um, you know, having the 20 pictures does help, but uh, physically seeing the properties really makes all the difference. So, um, yeah, it seems like, uh, it, seems like it, it fits the bill. But uh, again, you'd have to uh, take a look. That's our last one, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Orangeville Daily Homes. Bye for now.